Hi there. My name is Prakar and you are watching Tech Now. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, do subscribe and press the notification icon below. In our earlier video, we had seen what is a NAS and what is its purpose. In this video, we are going to learn how to create your own NAS server at your home or office the easiest way possible. Step 1. Components required. Raspberry Pi. I would recommend use a Raspberry Pi 4 as it has USB 3.0 ports for higher transfer speeds. Hard disk drive or thumb drive, whatever you are having. SD card. I would recommend using a 16 GB or above SD card. Step 2. Prepare the SD card. As we would work with PuTTY, we should install Raspbian Lite. And the important point to note here is that we should enable the SSH in, in our SD card. If you're not sure how to do it, watch the earlier video, series number 2, and then continue from this step again. Step 3. Configuring the hardware. Connect your hard disk drive to Pi on the USB 3.0 ports. Connect your Pi to your Wi-Fi using the Ethernet cable. You could also connect it using Wi-Fi, but the transfer speed in that case would be highly compromised. Plug your Pi to the power source and wait for it to boot up. Step 4. Installing and configuring the Sambi script. So before starting, we should ensure that the SSH is enabled in your Pi. Uh, so our PuTTY is also installed. We will open the PuTTY app and uh, first we need to find out the IP of the particular Raspberry Pi we are going to connect so we will go to the router page and we are going to the active client table and uh, uh, we will find out the IP of the device that we have just connected that is 192.168.2.20 we will copy this IP and uh, put this in the putty configuration so we will get an uh, alert screen we will click yes and uh, the default username and password will be pi and raspberry So we are good to go. Uh, so now we, we have to install the NAS server on our Pi. We have already connected the hard disk. We have already connected our uh, Pi with the router. So first we will ensure that uh, the Pi is updated. We are going to use the following two commands. sudo apt get update and sudo apt get disk update. Now our Pi has updated successfully. We are going to install the Samba server in on our Pi. So our Samba has been installed successfully. The drive basically that we are using is NTFS drive. If you have a XT4 format drive, then you need not follow this step. Uh, my drive is NTFS, so I'm going to install this package. Now we have to get the location of our drive. So we are going to use sudo blkid command. You will find that this is my drive that is sd1 my passport. We have to note that this uuid that is required to configure our Samba server. So we are going to copy it and we are going to change it here. Now, we are going to create a target folder to mount this drive into that particular folder. In this we are making a directory name as my desk. And we are going to mount this hard disk on this particular folder. Now we are going to verify that this particular storage device is mounted successfully or not. We are going to list the contents of this particular drive. As we can see, I am getting the details of the content of my hard disk, so it is successfully mounted. We have already followed this step, so we will not do it again. 
now uh, this particular mount we have we want to mount this drive at every boot so we are going to go to the f step file by using the following command and we are going to add this particular line you will note that this uuid we have copied earlier by using the blkid command and uh, this is the folder which we are going to mount and the uh, file system we are going to copy this com complete line and we are going to paste it here now we are going to exit control x and y then press enter now we are going to configure the samba services by using the following command so we will find the authentication because we do not want anyone to connect to our network so we will authenticate particular servers to only use we are going to type security user Control X, Y, and enter. Now we are going to add our add our password to our Pi by using the following command. We are going to type the password which we are going to use, and now now again we are going to go to the ser Samba servers. samba.config and we are going to go to the global details we are going to the global settings and uh, we are going to type and copy this in this particular area and we are then we'll go to the end of the file and We are going to copy this section and we'll paste it here. Control X, Y, and enter. Now we are going to restart our Samba services so that we can use the new configuration. Okay. Now we are going to start with the uh, we'll map our network drive. We go to map our network drive and we will we're going to click on browse notice that we have our raspberry pi and we'll go to share folder and click ok you'll notice that the content of the drive we have successfully connected our raspberry pi this is the network location now this drive can be accessed from any particular device that is connected to the network be it laptop tablet or any other smart tv etc Thanks for watching. If you like this video, do subscribe and share as much as you can. If you have any questions or queries related to this video, you can comment on the description below. Thank you.